200 years ago, the first dinosaur was named. Since then, dinosaur science has flourished, providing insight into what these creatures looked like, how they lived, how they evolved and what doomed them. We now know dinosaurs walked the planet from about 231 million years ago to 66 million years ago. But even after two centuries, the research is far from done. In 1824, English naturalist and theologian William Buckland addressed the Geological Society of London, describing an enormous jaw and limb bones unearthed in a slate quarry in a village near Oxford. Buckland recognised that these fossils belonged to a huge bygone reptile and gave it a formal scientific name, Megalosaurus, meaning Great Lizard. The actual word dinosaur would not be coined until the 1840s. Steve Brusatti is a paleontologist at the University of Edinburgh. That moment really was the beginning of our cultural fascination with dinosaurs, which continues today. In the 1960s, the identification of the smallish meat-eating dinosaur, Deinonychus, shook up dinosaur science, helping inaugurate a research period called the Dinosaur Renaissance. It showed that dinosaurs could be small and agile. Some were anatomically similar to early birds like Archaeopteryx, confirming how birds evolved from small, feathered dinosaurs. It also prompted a debate over whether dinosaurs were warm or cold-blooded. The smallest ones were smaller than pigeons. The biggest ones were heavier than Boeing 737 airplanes. But a lot of them would not have looked like reptiles at all. A lot of dinosaurs were covered in feathers. Some dinosaurs had wings. And those kind of fossils would have been unfathomable to Buckland. And they show just how far our perception of dinosaurs has changed in the last two centuries. And then there's the mystery of how dinosaurs became extinct. It had long puzzled scientists, with various hypotheses offered. In 1980, researchers identified a layer of sediment dating precisely to the end of the dinosaur age. It contained high concentrations of iridium, an element common in meteorites, indicating a huge space rock had struck Earth. The Chicxulub crater in Mexico, stretching 112 miles wide, was identified as the impact site of the asteroid that wiped out three quarters of Earth's species, including the dinosaurs. More than 2,000 dinosaur species are now known, and paleontology is a vibrant international science. Remarkable fossils are being found in places such as China, Argentina, Brazil, South Africa and Mongolia. Paleontologists put cranial fossils into CT scanners to build digital models of dinosaur brains and ears, gaining better knowledge of dino senses like sight, hearing and smelling. And Brusatti says advances in technology, including artificial intelligence, is the next step to a better understanding of dinosaurs. AI, machine learning, this is all the rage in, in so many different fields and so many aspects of our lives these days, for better or for worse. But in paleontology, it is probably the next new big frontier. If we want to understand the big patterns of dinosaur evolution, how dinosaurs changed over time, as the Earth was changing over time, it's these enormous databases that can be analyzed by AI techniques that are going to give us that really critical insight.